Welcome back, Flare community. In today's video, we're going to learn how you can connect to the Flare network. Now, many of you know that the Flare network actually launched last month. It's in a period called observation mode, which is where the network is becoming increasingly decentralized as various validators join the network. Today, we're actually able to connect to it and over here on Twitter, we can see ftso.au have provided an incredible guide and we're just basically going to walk through it and show you exactly how simple it actually is. So we can jump on this website here, ftso.au, and I will be linking this in the bottom of the description. So be sure to check it out. First thing that we're going to need to do is have MetaMask installed. And if you haven't already, you can just simply go to Google and type in MetaMask and you will see MetaMask.io and you can download that today. It's basically a browser extension which will allow you to connect to various EVM compatible networks. So let's jump back to the blog post here. First thing that we want to do is add a network. So if we go up to the top and click on the MetaMask icon, you can see this is my account. It's actually on the Songbird network here. And there is also Ethereum built into this. What we want to do is add a network, more specifically the Flare network. So if we go down here and click on add network, we're going to be greeted with a little form that we have to fill in. All we're gonna do is copy and paste the information from the blog into this form. Now, all we have to do is click on save. There we go, that's the network added. Now, if we scroll further down, we can actually see that we can also add WFLR, and this is basically wrapped flow. So we can see that there is the contract address here, simply click it, copy it, and if we go back to our MetaMask here, we can actually go on import tokens at the bottom. Right now we have FLR, click on import, paste the contract address, and it should auto populate WFLR token decimal 18. Add custom token, import tokens, and there we have it. So now we're basically all set up and ready to receive FLR. The distribution hasn't taken place yet. Again, as I mentioned, this is done after observation mode ends. And as seen in this document here, the flare launch details, we can expect this to occur eight or more weeks until the network has become sufficiently decentralized. And that's gonna be indicated by flare running less than 33% of the validation power. We're one step closer to the launch of the Flare network. This is all you can do to prepare for now. And I do appreciate many people may be using Bifrost or Descent. And if you are using them applications, you're not going to have to do anything. The actual software developers will add the Flare network dropdown at a later date. So that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to FTSOAU for providing such a great document. Enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, I'm out. Permission control, we have liftoff.